enjoying my video so far. Now, the next video coming up has got some hard words in it and some difficult concepts. So if you're a little kid watching, then I hope you are, you may want a grown-up with you or someone who can explain some of these hard words. Okay, enjoy! Over time, the world has been getting warmer and continues to get hotter. This is called global warming. Climate change is the adverse events resulting from this global warming. What bad things are resulting from climate change? Melting of the polar ice caps, coral bleaching, and unusual weather events. Melting of the polar ice caps. World temperatures have increased, causing global warming. This means that the Earth's increasing temperatures are melting ice at the north and south poles of the Earth. Ice melting into water is a problem because animals who live on the ice are losing their homes. And also, with less ice and more water, coasts are being eroded. This is also linked to unusual weather events. Coral bleaching is when coral loses its colour. It is caused by rising temperatures in the water. Unusual weather events include drought, floods, wild storms, and catastrophic bushfires. We've seen that climate change are the bad things resulting from global warming, but what is causing global warming? The sun shines its rays down on Earth. Some of these rays stay in the Earth's atmosphere, but some bounce off. Greenhouse gas emissions in Earth's atmosphere surround the Earth. These allow less UV rays to bounce off or escape, therefore making the Earth a hotter place. This is known as the greenhouse effect and is the cause of global warming. The industrial greenhouse gas that contributes the highest percentage towards the greenhouse effect is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is released by burning fuels, transportation and deforestation. Methane gas also contributes to the greenhouse effect. Methane is released from agriculture, landfills and rotting vegetation. The gas nitrous oxide is released from industrial processes and from fertiliser. Let's summarise what we've discussed. Climate change is being caused by global warming, meaning the Earth's temperatures have increased. Global warming is causing the polar ice caps to melt, is causing unusual weather events and coral to be bleached. Greenhouse effect is causing global warming. An excess of greenhouse gas emissions is causing the greenhouse effect, effectively trapping the UV rays from the sun around the Earth. One other thing I'd like to talk about is carbon footprint. What is carbon footprint? Carbon footprint is defined as the total greenhouse gas emissions released into the atmosphere caused by an individual, an event, an organisation or a product being made. This is usually expressed as carbon dioxide. For example, to make one kilogram of new plastic will release two to three kilos of carbon dioxide. However, if this new plastic is reused, it greatly lowers its carbon footprint. Here is another practical example. We all should use fabric shopping bags, just like this one. 
However, this bag must be used 131 times before its carbon footprint is better than that of a single-use plastic bag. The take-home message here is to be aware. Yes, you should use fabric shopping bags, but make sure to reuse them over and over. And if you do have single-use plastic bags lying around at home, make sure to keep reusing them for as long as you can. This will greatly reduce the impact they have on our environment. I hope this video has been helpful and you've enjoyed it. See you next time.